Oh, you want me to go first? Okay. I'm Reed McClelland. I'm Jack Scher. I'm Hunter Vericachea. See, you would have been able to do that if you were here. Welcome to Servite TV. There will be the Halloween dance October 27th from 8 to 11 in the Servite Quad. Everyone must have a signed dance pass for admission. Dance passes can be found on the table in the activities office and it will cost $15 and you must bring your student ID. All handbook dress code regulations are in effect, but you may wear an appropriate Halloween costume. There will be prizes for best, funniest, and scariest costumes, boo. So get your dance pass and come to the Halloween dance on Saturday, October 27th from 8 to 11 p.m. I just cannot wait for this dance. It's probably gonna be amazing. Now off to sports. Hey, Servite, my name's Matt Weller. I'm Isaac Duenas. And we're here with your weekly sports update. This Friday, Servite football takes on St. John Bosco at Cerritos College. The first 500, first 500 girls into the game will get a free carnation, and the first 500 guys will get a pink ribbon to wear into the game. The first 300 students will also get a pink rally towel. St. John Bosco has been undefeated this season, although they did have to forfeit their first four games due to using an ineligible player. So this should be a good game for Servite to try to win their eighth straight league title. Throw that pigs game, boys. Servite Water Polo beats Jay Sarah last week to improve to 2-1 in, re in their regular season in league. Any thoughts on Water Polo, Isaac? Water Polo, it's a tough sport, especially if you can't swim. <laughs> Reed Paquette and Patrick Harding rank in the top 10 in league goals, and they also are led by two good sophomores, Max Weber and Steven Marson. Yeah, Water Polo. Servite Cross Country has their Cradle 5K this weekend. Servite Cross Country is led by three seniors, Matt Perret, Ryan Vigiano, and Demetrius Lloyd. And I will hand it over to Isaac for cross-country analysis. That's a lot of running. Our Servite ice hockey took on Corona Del Mar this past weekend. It was a great game with Matt Weller scoring two goals. Wow, that guy's good looking. Debatable. And Johnny Cooper scoring one. It was a great game, but we came out with the W. It's our like our second W of the year. It's a good game. It was a good game. Their super diehard fan Isaac Duanes was out there supporting them, aka me. Um, follow them on Instagram at Servite Hockey and like them on Facebook. Servite Hockey also recently added three key players, Max Blitz, Toby Costa, Brian Hodges to the roster and looking to make a run from the top of the, to the, from the bottom of the league standings to the top to regain their crown that they took freshman year. So get out to those games, guys. They're really good. For Isaac Duenas and our cameraman, Rudy Pacey, I'm Matt Weller. And like a game of hot potato, sending it back to you. Thanks, guys. It was great. Now off to Servite Cristeros. Hello, Servite. I'm Donald Anarello with Cristeros Club. And so we'd just like to invite you guys to all come out um, and join us for our activities. We're Servite's pro-life club on campus. We meet about once a week um, in room 302 during lunch. And so we have numerous different activities that we've done so far. We've passed out flyers. We've done the pro-life um, day of solidarity, which is the red tape. We've also um, played the rosary every break. So just come out, join us if you guys can. Every, we meet every, um, every week from 302, like I said before. Um, another thing, one of our resources that we'd like to share with you guys is a website called aboard73.com. So just go there and that's really where we get all of our resources. It's a great site, I want you guys to all check it out. So back to you guys. Now back from Cristero's, we have another announcement. There will be a collection for Brothers Helping Brothers today during Priory Period. The last collection went really well, so let's make it even better this time. Now off to Words of Darren with Wisdom Hodges. Good morning, Servite. Welcome to Words of Wisdom. This week's quote has been submitted by Will Neiswanger. The quote is, sometimes you have to be really high up to realize just how small you are. What does that mean to you, Will? Well, Darren, what it basically means to me is that you are one of billions of people on this earth, and uh, you may have some problems going on, but they are so minute that they don't pertain to as many people as you think they can, so just uh, sit there and wait it out. Thanks, Will. That was great. Uh, no problem, Darren. Remember, if you'd like to hear your words of wisdom said or possibly appear on Survey TV, email me at darren.hodges at surveyhs.org. Back to you guys. Thanks, Will. You can bet that quote is going on the front page of my diary tonight. And now there's an important message from Pal about addiction. Hey, guys. I'm Zach Manessis. I'm Alex Lee. And we're from Pal. This week's Whiteout Wednesday question was, what percent of marriages fail because of viewing hard or hardcore pornography? The answer is 40% of marriages fail 
This shows that watching pornography uh, interf uh, damages our uh, relationship with the opposite sex. So you guys, let's all get out there and keep our brothers accountable and make sure that we can get this problem out of Servite and keep all our brothers safe and good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, sir, right? Thank you for that, pal. Wait. Hold on. Breaking news. Breaking news. Guess what? If you're a freshman, sophomore, or junior, these are done November 1st. That's right, after November... No, starting November 1st. You cannot wear shorts, but we can. I'm so excited. I'm not. Birthdays! Okay. Uh, James Ferraro, happy birthday. Yeah, oh, and yeah. Um, Ross Yu. Hey, you! Happy birthday, Ross. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's our, that's our uh, segment. Yeah. So I'm Hunter Barricachea. I'm Reed McClellan. And thank you for watching Survive TV.